Okay, so uh, hello everyone. Thank you very much for joining this webinar. And this is Friam from the DJI Agriculture team. I am the Agriculture Solution Engineer. And today we will talk about the drone spraying application in cotton farming. It's my honor to invite Baha and Yumit from Turkey to share their experience about using drone on cotton. Yumit is a professional cotton producer with 10 years farming experience and two years drone experience. You may start uh, using drone spraying on cotton since 2022. She got a success and she would like to share his experience with us. And Baha is from Dada Agriculture, a DJ dealer in Turkey. Dada and DJ made a lot of research to find out the advantage of drone spraying on different crops. Cotton is one of them. Now let's invite Baha to introduce herself and Data Agriculture. Uh, hello everyone. Thank you Fuyan for inviting us for this webinar and thank you all guys for joining the webinar. I am Bahar from Turkey and I am the global manager of Days Agriculture, which is the distributor of DJI in Turkey. So I would like to start with the sharing some brief information and the background of our company. Um, next, please. Uh, Daystream is the sister company of the Zeki Gada, who is the one of the Turkey's leading rice growing companies for more than 20 years and has 70 sub dealers all over the Turkey. And we are the second generation of the Zeki Gada, who aims to provide the social uh, smart solution for the uh, farmers and to improve the production in Turkey. Next, please. Here is the our milestone of the company, and the Zeki Gda was founded in uh, 1990s with the two uh, brothers as a rice producing factory. And in a couple of years, they have started to collaborate with the big supermarket, which is the Carrefour. It's the most important and the big supermarket in Europe and in Turkey. In 2018, they explored the DJI drone and start the application on over the 12,000 decar of the own paddy fields. And after seeing the efficiency of the DJI drones, then decided to get into the business and the to be and be the distributor of the DJI to provide the drone application and the drone uh, business for the Turkey market. Next, please. And here is the some information about uh, agriculture in the Turkey. Turkey has a rich and diverse agricultural background that plays a significant role in its economy and in our culture. Turkey's agricultural sector benefits from this uh, varied uh, geographically, including fertile plains, high plantains, and the mountains regions. And this allows us for the wide range of the crops to be grown. So we are able to grow the different kind of crops, uh, crops in Turkey. And because of that, we believe that in Turkey, we have a uh, potential drone using. Next, please. As a distributor of the DJI, we have been working with the DJI almost more than three years right now, and we have been working on the different kind of case studies for uh, different crops, which is the cotton, rice, nuts, like the hazelnuts, walnuts. And we also work right now with the orchard and the vegetables to see the, how is the efficiency. And after getting the information and the feedback from the farmers of the different kind of crops, uh, we can say that the overall uh, benefit of the drones is you can save your cost and you can improve your efficiency of production. So uh, after our case studies with the uh, Mr. Umit, who is the cotton farmer and who has a good experience in the industry, I would like to invite him to share his own experience as a, a cotton farmers. Thank you for listening to me and hope to see you soon. Thank you, Baha. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our custom webinar. I am Umit and I am 28. Uh, I have uh, 250 of custom fields and 10 years farming experience. And also, I am an uh, engineer. Uh, we met the DJI Agriculture drone by receiving drone service in uh, 2021. Later, in 2022, 
we bought our own drone and starting using it our cotton field. I have a total of uh, 130 hours of flight and 2,100 hectares of flight experience. I saw the advantage of the using drone compared with the director. I wish you like to share my experience with you. I will share this experience with you under two main headings. The first one is van wide drone spray. The second one is workflow and best, pra best practice sharing. Using the application in Turkey as an example, seven to 10 times of the spraying in one cotton season can be sprayed by drone. Uh, V0 to V2 herbicide and fungicide, V3 to BN herbicide, fungicide, insecticide, and floor fertilizer. F1 to FN insecticide, growth regulator, FN to C1 insecticide, floor fertilizer, growth regulator. After C1, we use the drone uh, defoliant at two times. What is the baker efficacy? I believe it is about better penetration. We conducted a test to verify the penetration of the drone spray. The result is quite significant. Here are the tests. Water sensitive paper have placed at the bottom. Then we used the tractor and Agras T40 to spray different fields. The paper from uh, the bottom of the field sprayed by drone showed a better penetration effect. The droplet reach the bottom of the cotton. Also, the droplet is more even on the paper. The entire plant could be applied and protected. What would be the benefits of better penetration? Because the droplet can cover the entire plant and the chemical could take effect better and quicker. Take the defoliant spraying as an example. When we use the tractor to spray the defoliant before, the harvest started 15 days after spraying. But now we start used drone spray defoliant, we can start harvest seven days after spraying. This acceleration of the harvest process by seven days allow the cotton yield to be protected from bad weather condition. The efficiency of the drone is higher and the application cost is much lower. For example, I am using a New Holland TD100D tractor with a 14.6 meter sprayer, a very common combo for uh, 100 hectares of the cotton fields. Uh, the, the drone is more fuel saving as uh, unmanned aircraft that spray at uh, ultra low water volume. Uh, the drone application cost is much lower. We save $2.6 per hectare. As cotton plants mature, the spacing between crops become narrower. In such intense, using a tractor for operation damage this damage the product. The tractor will, will crush the cotton and cause damage. By using drone spray, the cotton is safe from the well truck. According to farmer estimation, up to 12% of the cotton could be safe from the well truck, which is almost 600 kilogram and uh, 414 US dollar per hectare. Drone can work after rain and irrigation, but the tractor could be stuck in mud after rain and irrigation. The time window is too limited. People have to wait for the soil to be solid enough for the tractor. If it keeps raining and the insect situation is very bad, the insect damage increase every second. So we can save the cotton if we can spray as soon as possible. Uh, we can uh, see a lot of benefit of the drone solution. Uh, first, uh, for example, in some areas, we can irrigation pipeline in the field. Uh, if we want to drive the tractor into fields, we will need to remove the tube first, then which takes a lot of time. But now, by using drone, the farmer can save a lot of work. And the second one is 
the drone solution is more friendly to the driver and farmer. Worker can be overexposed to the chemicals, which is quite dangerous. Now, the farmer or pilot can drive the drone with a distance. It's safer. And the third one is the work is much easier by using drone. The drone is full automated. All roads are planned and controlled by software. The pilot just need to set up the tax and start in. But in the tractor solution, the tractor driver needs to drive the all the time. Technology makes agriculture easier. The last one is sometimes it is hard to find people to spray, especially in the busy season. The, uh, the second one is workflow and best practice sharing. Uh, before the operation, uh, pra protecting people in one most uh, important preparation, we can protect ourselves from harm caused by pesticides by wearing personal protective equipment. Uh, the first one is protective glasses. Uh, protective glasses should be used to prevent the chemical use it during the spraying from coming into contact and with the eyes and help to protect the eyes uh, from gases related from some chemicals and respiratory protective equipment. The second one is uh, during the spraying, respiratory protective equipment should be used to prevent inhalation of dust, vapor or aerosols. The dust and vapors of the some chemical can be very dangerous to humans. The third one is clothes. Uh, to prevent harmful chemicals from penetrating the skin, uh, clothes that cover the entire body and provide the protection against chemicals should be worn. The last one is head. The last one is heads. Excessive exposure to sunlight poses risks to human health. Therefore, it is essential to wear heads to shed ourselves from the sun. Pesticides should be chosen according to pests in the field. If we are going to mix the pesticides, it is necessary to take mixability pesticides. We must mix, mix the pesticides by paying attention to mixing order. We also have to check the pH of the liquid to make sure the pesticides won't lose their effect. First, we add the uh, water in the bottle. Then, we add the pH regulator. Then, we add the insecticide. Then, we had to grow regulator. The last one is a uh, floor fertilizer. And all mixing chemical pH must be 5 to 6. Our using water pH uh, 7.5 to 8. For this reason, we used to pH regulator. While preparing the pesticides, we prepare a tank volume of the drone and throw pesticides. For example, we prepare 40 liter pesticides for Agras T40 because Preparing large volume of pesticides, for example, more than 30, uh, 300 liter mixture can cause some chemical mixture to deteriorate each other after a curtain period of the time. It is necessary to prepare the chemical carefully. It must be protected from contact with the body, gas and dust. Before operation, check the equipment to ensure they are all working. Repair the equipment might take a lot of time. The chemical might lose effect. Uh, we use a panel one vehicle and we put in uh, one DJI T40 and one DJI 1200 uh, generator and uh, uh, 1000 liter of uh, water tank and pesticides into this vehicle and go to fields where we will separate pesticides. We prepare pesticides in two unit uh, 20 liter buckets then we put the pesticides into the tank of the drone with help of the strainer. Since we usually mix the chemicals and apply them to plants, we prepare them in small buckets because some chemicals need to be applied to plant in a short time. If not applied, the chemical might deteriorate. The area uh, to be uh, separate should be examined beforehand. If there are obstacles in the area, for example, uh, trees, electrical wires, or ATC, we should put the obstacle in the mapping and fly the drone carefully. After the operation, it is necessary to clean the drone. It is necessary to wipe the drone with a wet wipe, spray a tank 
of clean water to clean the pump hoses nozzles from pesticides reduces. For the health of the batteries, it is necessary to leave them charged at 40% to 60% to extend to battery life. We used to dose on the bottle, but in tractor spring, we use 20% to 30% more in tractor spring usually. But sometimes we have to throw it away and the pesticides will be wasted. We could save pesticides from unnecessary waste. We produced cotton on area of the, uh, 250 hectare and we saved to, uh, 475 tons uh, of water during uh, one season. Uh, we made a profit uh, of uh, 100 uh, USA dollar per hectare from pesticides we didn't throw away uh, unnecessarily. How to avoid drift? To avoid drift, we can make the droplet size 300 micron. We can lower flying altitude of the drone. Let's not, for, not forget that if flying altitude drone is decreasing, the working width also decreasing. We can reduce the flight of the drone. At T40, uh, for all application, we used to herbicide, insecticide, and ATC. Uh, for uh, application rate, uh, we used to 10 to 20 liter per hectare, and please refer the agronomic suggestion. And uh, we used to uh, 100 to 300 uh, micron droplet size. Uh, please choose coarse droplet size if drift, drift risk is high, such as spraying herbicide or spraying it in the environment. Uh, we used to uh, 20 uh, to 25 km uh, per hour flight speed. Uh, please decrease the flight speed when drift risk is high, such as spraying herbicide, and when there are plenty of obstacles in the field. Uh, we used to 7 to 8 meter road spacing. Either too narrow or too wide road spacing will cause seed trip issue. And we used to 3 or 3.5 height above the crop. Uh, and please decrease the flight height uh, if drift leaks is such as spraying herbicide or spraying wind environments and increase the flight height if uh, crop damage caused by propeller damage in concern. Uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you for listening to me. I wish you like to give the floor DJ Solution Engineer Fuya. Yeah, uh, this is Fuya again. Thanks, Yumi Sharing is very informative. Uh, from Yumi Sharing, we know the job is better than the tractor spraying in some scenario due to the better penetration and it doesn't damage the cotton. In practice, we also need to consider the spraying risk of, uh, of the job to get full coverage and also avoid the pesticide drift because it might cause a lot of danger uh, damage. And let's talk about the penetration first. The penetration is related to the downwash airflow, which will push the droplet downward and reach the lower canopy. And what will affect the downwash airflow? There are two factors to consider. The first factor is the flying speed, and the second factor is the flying height. Uh, see the image on the left. The propeller will generate the downwash airflow. Uh, the downwash air, the downwash effect will change according to the drone's movement. When the drone is fly, hovering, the downwash uh, air is downward. When the drone is flying forward, the downwash airflow will be backward, and it changes with the drone's uh, movement. See the image in the middle. The downwash effect is also related to the flying speed. The downwash effect is drawn when the drone is flying slowly, but when the flying speed is over 7.6 meters per second, the downwash effect disappears gradually. And when the flying speed is uh, over 9.7 meters per second, the spraying track will be almost parallel to the ground. 
the job lag will be affected by the wind easily. You can see the the spring check is uh, like floating in the air and a very light wind will blow it away and cause drifting. It is very hard for the droplets to reach the lower canopy. Let's see the next one. And the second factor to consider is the flying height. The higher the drone flies, the weaker the downwash effect is. And to get a good penetration, it is better to set a reasonable flying height. But be aware of the damage caused by the strong wind. Also, the spreading risk will be wider if the drone is flying higher. So we also need to set the row spacing according to the flying height. And drift will happen if the drone is flying too high because the downwash effect is very weak. And let's see the next one. In practice, the spraying with or reset road spacing is also an important factor to consider. Too wide or narrow spacing will cause the strip issue. The plan on the strip could be non treated or over treated. So we need to set a reasonable row spacing and make sure the plan are applied properly. You can see the strip issue on the image. Uh, uh, I mark it in between two lines. You see the plant there are still green, but we sprayed some uh, defoliant for testing and uh, the street between them is uh, not applied, so that that's a strip issue. And let's see the next one. The next one is about the, how to avoid the drift. Drift it is not uh, drift is not what we want. Drift will cause a huge damage, especially when when we spray in non-selective herbicide or spray in selective herbicide, but with broad leaf plants such as vegetable and fruits nearby, or spraying uh, pesticide and there is agriculture and livestock farming nearby. So how do we avoid the drift? Here is something we can do. First, we avoid drift, uh, we avoid the wind as much as possible, and we do not spray it when the wind speed is higher than two meters per second. And the second suggestion is that we can fly lower and slower. And so the uh, downwash airflow generated by the jaw can push the jaw light downward instead of letting it drift in the air. And we can also use the coarse or very coarse jaw light size to reduce the effect of the wind. And we can also use drift reduction agent to reduce the final job left formation. And we can also set a buffer zone, a buffer zone between spray zone and protection zone for at least uh, like 15 to 20 meters. But do uh, refer to the local regulation about how to set up the buffer zone. And the next I would like to share a video made by Dada and Yumit and this is a cotton case study video and to show the benefits of uh, of John spray in in defoliant. Yep. Yeah, please wait a second. I'm setting up the video. Yeah. Oh, sorry, one sec. There is no sound. Uh, Bahad, do you hear any sound? Um, no, sorry, I cannot. Start from the beginning, please, Fuyan. Yeah. Uh, you mean, can we start again? Yeah. Okay, sorry for this. Hmm. 
Yeah, please give us a moment. We are setting up the audio. And at the meantime, if you have any questions about the job, about how to use the job on Carton, and any other questions, you can type in. Uh, you will type in Teams, and we will answer it later. <coughs> What about now? No, <clears throat> I cannot hear and the uh, screen is freezing actually. So. I think you can check uh, on the, the volume on the player, the player you are using, you can check the, that volume and check if it's wet. Uh, pardon me, say again, sorry. Uh, the player that he's using to play the video, you can check on the volume of that particular player. Uh, Fuyan, did you get it? Can you please try that way? Uh, she's. I think she's saying that the video player is uh is not set up correctly. Okay, if you take off your earphone, please uh ear take off your earphone and try to play it without the earphone. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry for the waiting and the technical problem. Yeah. Yes, it works now. Yes, it works now. Drone ile Hasad'ın 7 gün daha erken olduğunu göstermek için suya duyarlı kağıtlar kullanarak bir test gerçekleştireceğiz. Suya duyarlı kağıtlar kullanarak yapmış olduğumuz test sonucunda drone'un yaratmış olduğu hava akımı sayesinde en alt yapraklara kadar ilacın ulaştığını gördük. Traktörün 30 litre su atmasına rağmen alt yapraklara homojen bir şekilde ilacın gelmediğini gördük. Traktörle ilaçlama yaparken ürünlerimiz de tekerlek izlerinden çiğnenmesinden dolayı ürünlerimiz ziyan oluyordu. Drone ilaçlamaya geçtiğimizde ürünlerimizin çiğnenmediğinden dolayı verimlerimizin %12'ye varan artışlar e, e, sağladığını gördük. Gece sıraya nereden bulacaksınız gece karanlığıyla? E, size kim sıra gösterecek, kim sayacak? E, onun için gün doğdu, gün battı ilaçlamayı. Gündüz ilaçlama yapıyoruz, gece yapmıyorduk. Çünkü yapamıyorduk daha doğrusu. Ve ayrıca drone gece ilaçlama yapabiliyoruz. Bu da bizim zamanımızı pozitif olarak yönde etkiliyor. Gündüz bitiremediğimiz için gece de eğer hava müsaade ederse, gece de devam edebiliyoruz. Evet. Bunun gece gündüz fark ettiğim drone Gerek e, burada Türkiye'de, Aydın Sege'de hava şartlarından dolayı burada genelde pamuk yetiştiriliyor. Yani buranın arazilerinin e, pamuğa elverişli olduğunu bildiğimiz için. Zaten ailem 30 yıldır bu işi yapıyor, pamuk üretiyor. Pamuğun kalitesini yükseltmekle kalmayıp ayrıca bize zaman kazandırdığı için çalışırken ve ayrıca yakıttan tasarruf sağladığı için bu yüzden DJI tarım dronlarını kesinlikle herkese tavsiye ediyorum. Pamuk üretimi ülkemizde teknoloji ile beraber artmış durumda. Kalitesi daha yükselmiş durumda. Bu yüzden DJI Agras diyoruz.
Fuyan, you are muted. Sorry. Ah, sorry. Uh, I say thanks for watching, and maybe we can have some free, uh, free discussion about how to use the John on Cotton and also uh, uh, other topics if you want to share. And maybe we can also answer the questions from our audience. Uh, Fuyan, sorry, can we also drop the link on the chat, the video, the case study video link on the chat? So if they want to uh, rewatch it, it should be the available to watch. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm sending the link. Yeah. Uh, because the network might not be stable and uh, the the video might not be smooth uh, when you're watching. If you want, you can go to our YouTube channel and watch the video again. Yeah, uh, is there any audience from, from like Australia or USA? because uh, as I know, they are also the major cotton producer in the world. Maybe we can have some discussion uh, about the local situa situation. So if you have other experience about John spraying on cotton, uh, please uh, share it with us and we'll be very grateful. Aha. Was hier los? Hello, hello. Welcome to our webinar. And because the webinar started from uh from like uh forty minutes ago, and if you didn't come in time, uh, we will also send the uh, uh, screen re record after the webinar. Ah, there is a question. <clears throat> uh, how can how can we check the available airspace where it is permitted to fly? Okay, so um, uh, so, so first, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you yeah, like please, to ask a question? Yeah, as a farmer uh, who already know the process, how to register the drone and the, get the permission. So you may, I mean, if you want, you can share your experience for this. Yeah, I. So a question uh, from our audience, how to check the available airspace uh, where it is permitted to fly, he asked. And I want to say the, uh, the available airspace is managed by the local government, local authorities. So if it is allowed to fly in this area, it is suggested to check with the local government like uh, police station, air force, and it depends on who is the who is the governor of the airspace. And uh, for some area like airport, like, uh, like jail, like, like power station, and there is uh, there will be no flight zone. And if you need to fly the job, in that kind of zone, you need to apply for the uh, permission from the uh, from the authority first, and then you need to provide the document to DJI's flight safe team and apply for the unlock request. And after that, if 
if the appro uh, application has been approved, you will get the unlocking license and synchronize to your DJI account, and then you can fly the drone in the area. How do you identify the width in the field? Okay, uh, so we can identify the width uh, in the field. Uh, in we have several solutions for it. Uh, we have, like for example, we have the multi uh, Mavic Three multi spectral row. And it can catch, uh, it can capture RGB cam, RGB photos, and also the multi-spectral photos. And you can identify the width from the RGB photo, and you can also use the uh, different uh, spectral to identify the views. Uh, here is the workflow. You use the MCM, the uh, Mavic Three multi-spectral to scan the whole area. And then you get uh, RGB cam, RGB photos, and also the multi-spectral photos. And then you throw the photos in DJI Terra or DJI Smartphone Web and do a reconstruction. And then you can see the uh, you can see the difference on the map you got, and then you can mark it out. And you can also do variable rate uh, application or spot spraying if you want. And then you can remove, uh, identify the V and remove them uh, according to your requirement or your workflow. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Is there a desired feature in the pesticide use in cotton spraying? Uh, I think you meet can help us to answer this question. You meet, uh, do you have any experience, uh, like anything to share for this yes, I, uh, question? <clears throat> yes, I have some experience. Uh, sorry for this. Uh, I need to. Uh, translator for the bar because of uh, my speaking skills is not good. Ee, abla şöyle diyebilir miyiz? Ee, şu anda herhangi bir e, e, tarımsal ilaçlarda drone uygunlu bir e, doz yok. Ee, bazı ilaçların konsantresi e, arttırılmış şekilde. Atıyorum normalde bir litre ilaçta e, 100 gram litre de varken e, bunda bir kilo litre de olup konsantre arttırılıp volümü düşürülüyor. Bu şekil bazı ilaçlar kullanılıyor. Ama çoğu ilaçlar hala traktörde nasıl kullanıyorsak onları da drone'da kullanıyoruz. Öyle bir çok fazla bir ilaç seçeneği yok. Okay. Um, so um, who you ask the question? Burçak Sivi. Uh, Burçak Hanım Türkçe mi? E, İngilizce devam ediyorum. Siz Türkçesini aldınız ama. So I am explaining in English because the question i mean coming from the turkish people then uh, we still don't have the like the regulation like policy for the how we gonna use the uh, drone i mean the pesticide for the drone but uh, since we say that uh, we we can make it concentrated which is the even when you mix with the pesticide and the water so um, still there is no the uh, policy of it, but we can follow the how it works for the tractor as the same for the drone. Yeah, and the next question uh, is about the business model. And sorry, sorry, Fuyan. So uh, yeah. Mr. Suchak wants to uh, ask how it works also for China. She also uh, want to ask the same question for the China. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please continue. So I I don't know how it works in China. I would like to ask you. Uh, sorry, I did. Okay, say that again. Uh, Mr. Burchak wants to ask that how it works in China. You know, ah. I. Ask 
for the Turkey as a local, but if you have any specific uh, regulation or the policy, how you use the pesticide for the drones, can you please explain if there's any features to use and to follow? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for the pesticides, there are several kinds of it. Uh, one is for the conventional ground machine. So there is a label on it and it has a suggested dose and suggested volume. And the mm -hmm. second one is the pesticide for for air, aerial spraying. So there will be suggested dose for the drone. Mm -hmm. And uh, for now, most of the pesticides are designed for the ground machine and not a lot of pesticide for drone spraying and farmers in China are still testing and see what what dose and the uh, concentration will be the best best one. But uh, as I know, there there is uh, no uh, there is not a, a very strict uh, regulation about the uh, volume used. Okay, so can we say that it's almost similar like tractor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Burçak Hanım, uh, translate etmemi ister misiniz? Yoksa... Uh, thank you, Fuyan. Yeah, you're welcome. And I saw another question uh, about developing the IoT platform or digital twin solution. <clears throat> okay, so as I mentioned, we have a multi Mavic 3 multi-spectral draw. It can collect the data from the field of both RGB and also the multi-spectral photos. And this model, this Mavic 3 multi-spectral also supports SDK and also the API. So if you would like to use it to uh, integrate it into your system, you can use the S SDK and API to connect our multi spectral job and also your platform. And currently, uh, the, the SDK and API is open and you can check all the uh, technical details on our website. And if you are a developer, you want technical support about SDK, you can also just send email to our after sales support team and also uh, post a thread on the community and the technical support team will answer your questions and give you support. I hope that answered your questions. Good. Let me also find our link about the SDK and post it here. Yeah. Yes, give me a second. Okay. I believe this page will provide a lot of information uh, for your development. Let's see if uh, there are more questions from our audience. 
for any any questions, uh, just leave a message here. Okay, so so I will call this is ended. And at last, I want to express my thanks to Baha and Yumit for sharing their experience. And also, thank you for listening to this webinar. We will end this session and see you next time. Uh, for for everybody, uh, we will send the video record after this meeting and uh, don't worry about it. And we will also have the upload to our YouTube channel. If and if you have any questions, uh, you can just leave message under our uh, under the video and to our <clears throat> to and send messages like Facebook, YouTube, and we'll answer your questions. Thank you. So thank you, Baha. Thank you, you meet. Thanks again. Thank and you thank so you for everyone. everyone listening. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. thank you so much. Have a nice day. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, uh, we have another question. Uh, is there a question? No, there is no question. They say it's thanks. <laughs> Ah, ah, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for all joining this webinar. Nice to luck. meet you all. Thanks. Goodbye.